first last class we started uh, this excel automation so we'll see few more things uh, in excel automation so uh, things like a you have a formula so suppose for example uh, this is like a addition so excel has uh, some formulas by uh, in the excel itself so sometimes the excel having the a uh, lot of echo Hello, uh, is it fine now? Still you are getting the echo from my side. You are getting the echo from my side or it is fine now? Okay, it is fine now. Okay, so if you want to speak, just pay, please ping in the chat window. Okay, maybe uh, I can't able to hear your voice. Just ping in the chat window if you want to speak. Now it is fine, right? My side? The voice. Okay. Okay, so let us see in the Excel, we have a formulas. Um, the for example a value b value or uh, price and uh, unit price oh, what is the next thing like a unit price and uh, the total or uh, quantity and total amount Suppose, for example, you have a price like a so unit price like a 200, 500, 400, so 50, 800, 700, 950, 950. So the quantity is like a uh, three items, five items, so two items, six items, seven items, uh, okay, eight items, okay, or uh, three items, okay. So, okay, so basically, the, the uh, just check the formula. The formula is like a the total is this one into this one. So you have to use the into as an asterisk. Okay? The symbol is a star symbol. So suppose for example, if you just copy paste, yeah, this is this is a just formulas. So if you just change this value, automatically the D value will change. Just observe. Okay, the D value is changed because this formula is depending on these two columns. Okay, so so here. So we'll just read this data, okay, read this add data and paste somewhere here, the output, uh, something like that, okay. So we want to read only the total amount, the total amount, okay. We want to read this total amount and paste into the A column. Okay, read the total amount and paste into the A column. Let us see how we can do. So Excel application scope, just using the excel application scope some load the the path of the excel this path of the excel might be you can store into the a conf uh, a variable okay that's better you can just store it the a variable so here is a public schools school.xlsx and uh, here um, what is the what's the thing so we have to copy this range and paste into the a column into the another sheet. So C1 to C8. So there is a copy paste range is there, okay? Copy paste, copy range, copy range is there, just drag and drop. Here you have to mention destination cell. What is the destination cell you want to paste? The destination is like a A1, okay? Let us say here, a1 and what is the destination sheet name the destination sheet name is uh, output copy that into the your know, output and what is the source sheet name the source sheet name is add right and uh, and source range so basically what we have to achieve so we have to copy this one and paste here in the in the a column okay. a1 yeah, from a1 onwards okay Suppose these things and all, I'm just changing the color. Uh, so for example, 
uh, okay so this this sensor color is like a red and uh, like a bold okay so okay so this is uh, how the the source sheet looks like and the destination we have to paste from from here to c1 to c8 is a range source range give the c1 to give everything in the um, double quotes okay now let us try to run this one so what will happen let us see yeah it's, it's done go to the a and uh, what happened it is not copied because as it's why, why it's not copied because it is a formula it's not value see do you understand it's not value it is a formula sometimes this is this is a, like a, so you have you are seeing the values but actually this is not a values this is a formula results okay so this is a depending on some other cells so in this case how can we copy these things and all okay so let us remove and uh, save in the copy paste range you have a copy items here is a uh, the values so just unselect all the values let's run now yeah we set now here output this is a values is copied but uh, why it's copy like this um, seems like a okay so let us see let us try to copy from a two to a eight let us try still it is showing the differently uh, let us see the formula Number formula number format cell format okay uh, go to the output pan output sheet delete and save try to run okay still it is uh, not showing the properly uh, maybe uh, okay so maybe because of the formula um, uh, let us try here itself the d column okay so d column uh, add 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 only the d one okay so d2 so d2 let's try to run and see what it is copying see it is copying these things but actually uh, Okay, it's copying these things, but uh, the values are incorrect. Uh, it is taking the C2. Okay, so the formula copy paste range so normally it will give the uh, get text only okay so see here uh, if i use this one and uh, let's try the uh, read range read range the read range of uh, add add and this is like a so c column and uh, control k c underscore data table and you can just uh, ignore this one use the right range activity to write the data into the uh, another sheet output a1 and what is that uh, c let us try now uh could not find the range okay c one onwards Yeah, see here it is copied exactly the actual values only the values okay the values so it's not happening 
taking the headers because uh, we didn't find the uh, check this checkbox add headers so check here so this is a formulas but we have to copy the only the values in the this table let us try to run it will just take the only the data only the values got it but here uh, check this one so, so this is a a1 to uh, suppose for example this is not not there you have to apply the another thing is like so you have to apply the formula okay so apply the formula like a uh, how you have a um, Uh, you have a formula right so a to to b2 suppose let's remove this one and copy the formula copy the formula uh, disable this one and write range you're writing the range in the add and uh, what is that c uh, no 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 okay so you have to use the right cell activity disable right cell activity Sorry. and uh, you have to give the sheet name add and uh, what is the range so this is the range right a22 a8 so a22 a8 to to a8 and what is the what is the formula the formula is like so you have to give uh, double quotes and uh, this one into this one okay. this is the formula okay so uh, we'll do one thing so we'll just do the same thing by using the the normal right cell activity the right cell under the workbook activity so add and uh, c2 to c8 okay so this is like a, so what we are using the we are using the the activity under the workbook activity let us see so what will happen if you use this one I'm just closing because if it's open if you use the workbook activities it won't allow you to so what are you saying so the cell c2 to c8 is not a right cell C2 to C8. Let's try C2 only. C2 is applied properly. C5. Cell, right cell. Let us try. Is there any? Excel activities are uh, running. Okay. C two to C three. It is seems like it is not uh, existing. He is saying that it's not existing. Um, So what I'm uh, what I want to tell you is uh, let us try add edit add. This is working fine. So what I'm telling you is like so suppose for example you want to apply in uh, the formulas for entire column. Okay. So instead of this right cell under the workbook, it is better you use a uh, uh, the workbook activities that, that mean excel activities excel activities so here 
suppose for example c2 to c8 okay the formula is like a so equal to a to uh, into b2 okay see we we didn't use like a a3 to a3 to b3 c3 to a3 a a4 into b4 like that but automatically it is a performed action okay you understand a3 to b3 automatically it came a4 to b4 automatically came a5 to a b5 do you understand so the formula is applied let's remove and try again okay so so why you want to apply the formulas and in add can we put like a, a c2 to c5 c2 to c c2 into c5 c2 c2 into c5 means uh, Arinash, so in, in add sheet, what you want to do? Uh, so which column, which column the result should be? Yeah, you can, you can speak now. Yeah. Arinash. Uh, what is your question? So, can you explain and uh, expand? Hello? Am I audible? So, my question is that not on the Excel sheet, but in the middle, like when we get Hello? Yeah. Um, can, you, can you type? type? Okay. Can you type in the chat window? Uh, I'm not I'm not getting your voice, uh uh NPC Arizona. Uh can you just type here? Type here. Uh, Arunash, uh, hello, is it the same you are looking for? Uh, yes, it still apply the formula, that's it, okay, so the formula, the formula of the C, C2 to C5, whatever the formula is there, so that will apply, that's it. Normally, the Excel has the formulas, those formulas we can apply from here, so C C two to C five, C three to C six, C four to it automatically increments. Normally, if you just drag and drop like this, it automatically increments, right? In the same way, you can apply by using this. So, provide the range and the formula use if you want. 
Do you understand? So actually, so whatever the formula you said, say C22, CD into C5, actual formula will give the zero results because we are in the C formula, okay? we are in the C itself. And uh, so, understand? Okay. You understand? I hope you understand, right? This type. But not. Okay, okay, thank you. Thanks for the feedback. Okay, now. Uh, now, we now we understand how to apply the formulas. And here, so you do not know, see, I'm just applying the formula, uh, this one. So here, you don't know C8, right? Because sometimes it is an increment also. So how can you how can you do in that case? In that case, you have to read range first. Read range first. So why you are using the read range? Just to get the number of rows. As you do not know what is the number of rows, you're just taking the number of rows. So the data table and the a data table, so the number of uh, whole data and what is the number of rows here? The number of rows is seven. But actually, so what is the, what is the this range? C22, C2 is common, but C2 you, you, you understand the starting point, but you do, do not know the ending point. This is a C8, right? C8, but what is the what is the total number of rows? Seven. So you have to take like so the data table dot rows dot count, it will be the seven plus one. Okay. So here instead of uh, eight, so what will happen if it's a eight? The thing that the problem is like yeah, suppose for example if you have a, a rows from different locations okay if I just simply run this bot it will work for all 14 okay it will work for only so let us try to give the proper uh, A2 into B2. Okay, so let us try to run. Save and run. So what the what is the problem if you hard code the range? So this will give the only the that particular rows only, okay. So what happened tomorrow it came with the different rows day after tomorrow it is coming the number of rows may increase we do not know the ending point that's why so we have to use the dynamic uh, range so c2 is a common but the 8 is not a proper thing so what we have to do instead of c um, add data table dot rows dot count plus one uh, as it is a string integer, I am just converting into the integer. So let's try to run now and we'll see what will happen. It's updated for all. Understand? It's updated. See the formula here. See the formula here. See? Address bar. If I just remove this one and try to add a few more things. Okay, let's run the same board without changing any code. See the results. This will work dynamically any number of rows, right? You have to write this kind of code, not for the static, right? So you have to write like a, this kind of code. So it will, it will just, so we just use the read range to get the number of rows from that particular Excel sheet. Okay, so why we need that range? To, to identify what is the last uh, uh, row. Okay, this is like okay, so adding the formula, the right cell like that, and uh, there is something like a uh, let's disable 
and uh, there is like a copy copy sheet there is a copy sheet is there okay so if you want to copy sheet copy sheet like a and is a sheet name and uh, so destination file what is the destination file the destination file path is like a same file okay same path shift right click and copy as a path so you can you can just copy the same sheet to the another day uh, uh, another excel also suppose for example here is like a math hyphen add that is a sheet name okay math hyphen add the math hyphen add is not there in this sheet right excel let's try to run this is like a copy sheet is an activity it will copy the sheet entire sheet see entire sheet how is that how this sheet is looks like see, it might have a graph so it might have a different formats okay the styles may be different right everything is a copy paste the sheet is a copied understand suppose for example you want to copy to the another excel so the new excel is a sheet name uh, and uh, the sheet name you can just uh, is in the same and see it will create a new excel for you see new excel new excel dot c xlsx and uh, some sometimes see this has the, the same sheet name so sometimes what will happen so you have to some scenarios you have to copy the sheets okay so from one uh, excel to another sheet another excel so in that case you can use the copy sheet activity <clears throat> okay so now okay so here there is a, some uh, records of that okay so just add something like a kiran uh, mail Okay, so what's this? Hyderabad, Bangalore, and uh, go like this. Okay. Um, Okay, so make sure that we don't have a, any link links here. So what will happen see here? We have to split uh, the Ungol uh, Ungol records, the Ungol records into the Ungol sheet, Hyderabad records into the Hyderabad sheet. Um, Harish and uh, mail. Bangalore. Okay. So this is the input sheet. The input sheet has a different type of things. Okay. Now, so you have to create another sheet or in the same sheet. So with the city name, how can we do? Okay. So do you understand? We have to filter Bangalore and copy paste the, uh, the all the things into the Bangalore should by uh, should be done by the the robot because it's not like a one-time activity every time this this values will change or the data may add right and once this is done uh, either a ongol copy the ongol records create a new sheet this, uh, make it the sheet name is a uh, city name 
and uh, copy this okay and do do you understand the requirement just type yes if you understand otherwise i will explain re-explain this is what we have to do just type yes so all of you so that we will we will see how can we do this this type of things <coughs> okay so now while doing this exercise we will learn some new activities in the data table okay let's take a new workflow so city <coughs> cities uh, cities people data something like that okay here the fresh the empty block sheet will be taken and see here so and also i am just uh, saving this uh, excel so that we don't have any city city name that means Hongol sheet is not there, <coughs> Hyderabad sheet is not there, Bangalore sheet is not there. Okay. Now, so first of all, what we have to do, we have to read entire data. Okay, entire data from this. Just use the Excel application scope. Uh, go to the these things and all re uh, develop again for your practice and read range so we need the read range okay just drag and drop the read range and what is the sheet name sheet one only i think sheet one only right okay sheet one only and go to the properties panel and type here uh, people data table people data table okay this people data table is a when variable there is a data table variable okay so in the data table so see listen here so in the data table so you can perform many things okay you can create you can add the new record new column new row or you can remove the new row new column or new uh, remove the column from the existing thing right so what we have to do first the steps like a first we will just take only this one into the another data table okay so how can you do so use a filter data table so drag and drop the filter data table in the filter data table result there is a two things see here there is a two things one is the filter rows and output columns okay so we're not going to filter any rows here right now so we're just filtering the only the columns so that means we need only this column into the another data table okay so okay so what is the data table we have City. What is the data table we have? So currently we have a data table called people data. Okay, people data table. That is the input people p people data table, and the output is like a create a new a new data table like a city data table. Okay, the people data table and city data table is output. Okay, so by performing the this this uh, two things. Okay. Currently, we are just making this as empty. We are not doing anything here at the row filter because we need all the rows, okay? But the only the one column. So you have to keep one column. Sometimes what will happen? We have a hundred columns, but you have to remove single column. In that case, you can just use the remove and uh, mention the column name which you want to remove. Okay? In the output panel. So once once this is a come into the output a new data table that is the city data table. Okay? Keep that. We're just using the, the column name here in the double quotes. So you can okay, keep in mind you can do the column name in the double quotes or the index. So what is the index here? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. You can give like this or 4. Okay. So if you're giving the index, do not give the double quotes anything is fine okay if you give the uh, column name give the double quotes so what this filter wizard will do the filter data table will filter uh, uh, the, uh, based on this uh, uh, configuration we gave into the output data table okay so this data table is uh, existed the data is uh, already there so it is giving the input and output we are storing it to that another data table so what is there in the, that particular data table so right range so we'll just simply use the right range to just see test and uh, city data table okay just test 
we'll see what will what is there in the city data table let's run now oh, this is just to test okay see here the test it is uh, it is uh, collecting now on the yeah. so so what we done so we just take in the actual data table filter the data into the new thing so while filtering we are not filtering any rows we are filtering the column so we need the only the last column so after that what is the next step we have a duplicates here right city is it? this is a hyderabad bangalore right so ongol there is a lot of duplicates on there we have to remove the duplicates suppose for example instead of these three ongols it should be a single ongol instead of these, these three uh, bangalore see it should be a single bangalore let us remove this one data table sheet and uh, so you have a another uh, remove duplicates there is a remove duplicate uh, rows is there this drag and drop remove duplicate rows so this remove duplicate rows activity uh, we have to do the input data table and it will be the output data table with the unique data so i'm just giving the same the output data table the output data table copy this output data table and give the input as the same data table and give the output as the same data table. this one i'm just giving here Let's try to run. So while while you know, if you have any doubts, just uh, uh, give me. Okay, so we got the your unique data, right? So what is the next step? Next step, we need to create a sheets sheets by using the Ongol one sheet, right? Hyderabad one sheet, Bangalore one sheet, right? We have to create a sheets. Okay, so what we can do? So we have a data table. We will loop each and every so row from this particular newly created data table. So what we have to use? Which activity we have to use to uh, iterate each and every row from the data table? Type in the chat window. Which activity we have to use for each row? Perfect. Okay, for each row. Let's go for that and uh, use the for each row. For each row and uh, here use the city data table and this current row is uh, representing the is each and every city name so actual data table is there the actual data table is there so what is the data table name the actual data table name is people data table this people data table having the, all the records okay so what we have to do so we have to take this people data table and filter based on the current uh, uh, city okay so let's uh, do the, that one so filter data table drag and drop the filter data table and wizard you're just using the people data ta data table and give the another new data table like a uh, result dt so we have it totally three data tables okay result dt so from the people data to result dt but what is the result filter filter so we have to keep only uh, the column names. So what is the column name? City name. This is the column name. The column name. Column name is equal to. So you have a lot of operations on there. Comparison operators. So is empty. Sometimes you have to check, uh, filter only that particular column has some empty rows, some empty values. So you have to keep those. Uh, data separately into the another sheet. So in that case, you can use the is empty, is not empty, starts with, ends with, contains. Sometimes you you can have a description column or such kind of column. So if the description contains these words, just separate them into the separate data table like that. So it does not contain, does not start with, does not end with. So if you are dealing with the data date and time. Or then integer values, you can use a less than, less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to, equal to, not equal to. Okay, so I'm just using the equal to here. You can just use a uh, equal to operator for strings and integers. Okay, now what is that? Uh, the values, the value is like a current data row of city name dot to string. Okay. So just uh, write the range instead of tap current okay 
gives the headers and what is the data table the data table is like is the result of this one what is the result of this one result dt result dt okay as I remove this data now our workflow is ready so you see the see the sheets we don't have any sheets uh, with the uh, city name let's try to run this one now uh, this will create a different sheets see uh, it created the bangalore sheet bangalore sheet having the bangalore data hyderabad sheet for hyderabad data Google sheet for Google. Okay. this is the dynamic so that means if we add another thing like a uh, pavan uh, mail and uh, Okay, so Devendram that is not there. Okay, Devendram. So okay, so data may be different. Uh, here it is like a Kochi. Okay. So let us see um, there is a different data is added. So without changing any code. Okay, let's remove this uh, Bangalore. Uh, no need to remove, but yeah. So it's for rerun the project. Okay. So we have a different data with the same code. Run the board. This will create a each and every city name. See, see the Kochi is the one record. Event room, that's another record. Bangalore, and the bathroom board. You understand? You understand the logic? So let, let's go, go, go to the, another, uh, the, the same thing, uh, the logic uh, explanation. So we take in the Excel application scope and take the read range of that Excel and uh, use the filter data table to just filter the only the city name to get into the city data table. The city data table, we are using the remove duplicate rows. It will remove the duplicate rows and it have a unique city names. And this unique city names were just looping each and every city name from that particular data table. And while it is looping, so we're just using the actual data table that the data uh, table which you have in a lot of data. And uh, so there's the other data table is like result. And we are using the filter e e equal to operator to check. So once this is come, so it is writing into the table. Do you understand? Any doubts? So, um, suppose for example, uh, if you if you want to uh, create a separately this right range, here, so you can just simply use the uh, cities. Some suppose for example, here itself it has to create a different sheets. So what we can do is we can just use a right range activity, which is a workbook activity. So right range activity and give the path here. So what we have to give the path, the path is a new path, current uh, current sheet name and a city um, name dot to string. Plus dot XLSX. XLSX, okay. Here you can use the uh, defenders and here you're using the result. Okay. So, what will happen? So, I'm just uh, we're just not uh, creating a sheet in the same Excel, we're just simply creating a new Excel for each and every city name. Okay. So, it's it's a uh, you can just modify the code as per your requirement. Okay, so you have to understand. The actual logic so let us try to run now we don't have anything here in this folder but it will create a new sheet for each and every city name see here so we have a new sheets for each and every city name so just imagine so it's like a just a small data 10 rows records okay so if you just see uh, the hundreds of one rows or the one lakh records 
having the different type of cities so how how easy it is so the robot will help to uh, create a this kind of work in very uh, less time okay. uh, it's based on the requirement okay. and now um, So take the order and uh, see here in like so item and uh, uh, order, order order item and uh, what is the type? Okay, so number of mm, units. Okay, you know, how many units they need? Price and the uh, total. Uh, so is an item like okay, so item one. Uh, number of prices, hundred is quantity, and you can you can just simply add the new column as a total. So on the fly, okay, on the fly. Uh, see, there is a, something like a Okay, so this is a use case and the exercise for you. So you have to do this kind of work. So uh, the robot, you, you just develop the robot. So the input sheet is like, looks, looks like this one, okay. And there is like a, um, so uh, there's like a, the products are having the, um, This user product type or uh, the, the uh, center city, center name. Center name is like a cent, center location. So location is like your location is like a, so Bangalore, Chennai, Kochi, Kochi, Bangalore, Chennai, Bangalore, Bangalore, Chennai, Kochi. Okay. So this is just prepared like this. So, what is the logic behind when to use the Excel activities and when to use the that? So, okay, see, so last classes, Neha, last class I told you the difference between the, the, the act, activities under the Excel, activities under workbook. Okay, there is a difference. So, the first difference is like so the activities, if you use the activities under workbook, you know, you, uh, the, the MS Office software is not mandatory. Okay, so it will work even though the system does not have a MS Office software installed. There is a first difference, okay? If you use a workbook activities. But if you use Excel activities and the, the, the system does not have a MS Office software installed, it won't work, okay? So the activities under the Excel only works if the MS Office, MS Excel software installed into that system. The other difference is like, so um, even though the file is open, the Excel activities works, but the workbook activities does not work. And the third one is like is formulas. So the formulas you can apply easily, uh, dynamically in the uh, Excel activities, not the workbook activities. Do you, do you understand these three differences? Sneha? The uh, previous class I explained, uh, you can go through the recording. Okay, so here is an example, so which you want to do, that is like a, so this is like a, so the items, you just prepare the items like a, so different type of items, and the unit price this is now. So what we have to do, so we have to create a, each and every sheet, suppose for example here, the Bangalore League record, or Chennai records, okay. The Chennai records copy paste the Chennai location, And so here you have to add the total amount, which is not there in the source column. Okay, the total amount is like a so equal to, and here star. Just apply like this. You understand? So you know how to apply the formulas, and you know how to filter the uh, the data and the create and the sheet. So this is the exercise for you. Okay. 
the next thing is like a what else? Okay. So filter the other thing, Bangalore or Kochi, copy paste. the same city name paste here create a uh, total amount uh, this is a formula the formula do you understand do you understand so can we cut this all this so we go to excel on google no it's a it's a you have see um you, you can practice without excel um now you can practice without Excel, but you, you will have to open that Excel, right? So if you want to open and check the Excel, okay, so you should need the software. Uh, Suraya. Okay. So you, you're asking about this, uh, so without Excel can we use the Google Sheets? So Google Sheet, using the Google Sheet is a totally different thing. Okay. The Google Sheet is different and Excel, so which you are using the Excel activities is different. Okay. The Google Sheet, so you can just go to the Google uh, here and uh, uh, G suit G suit the there's a G suit is there. Just try for this. There's a, a different type of activities for each and every uh, uh, functionality, right? So you can use a G suit, but it, it won't come under the Excel. You cannot use the Excel activities to update the data in the Google Excel sheet. The Google Sheet is totally different than the uh, apart from this Excel. So you should have Excel. So, so, so we need to install Excel. So yes, you need to install Excel to you know, practice Excel because uh, so whatever the things we today we uh, discussed like a copy range, copy sheets, these things and all will not work without Excel. Okay. Do you understand? So basically, uh, okay. my question was like, uh, if we have Excel installed, we can use uh, workbook activities and Excel activities in the same uh, workflow, right? Uh, based on the requirement. No, not a actual uh, MSS yeah, Excel activities. Okay, this is like a totally uh, uh, G Suite activities, Google Sheet activities. Okay? Yeah, that's it for today. So practice and uh, uh, these orders. This try this exercise tomorrow um, okay so we'll see tomorrow the another use case and excel is almost uh, yeah so done so we'll see tomorrow the uh, excel the combination so the excel and uh, the word uh, the word actors ms word activities are there so how can we interact with the word the automation okay so what we will do so we'll filter this data and uh, fill the information in the uh, that particular uh, uh, word word document okay preparing the some documents or agreements like that okay um yeah please practice so practice is very important we'll see tomorrow at the same time uh, do you have any any doubts do you have any notes today's session uh yes I, um basically my question was and um, this is neha uh or, i just wanted to know like if we have excel installed yeah. on the so, on the lab sorry. that case like, uh, I'm not getting your voice, uh, so let me just uh, now speak. Uh, uh, am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. So, basically, my question was if we have Excel installed on the system, mm -hmm. then we can. Excel activities and workbook activities. We can uh, use wherever uh, based on the requirement in the same workflow. We can use both the activities, right? Like uh, there's yeah. no limitation. No limitation. So if you have Excel installed in your systems, you can use that. But the workbook activities, it's not mandatory. It's not required the Excel uh, software install. Even the Excel software installed, it won't care. Okay. So it is uh, using the file system. Okay. So it will go for the yes, yes. Excel. Okay, so even though Excel is installed, you can just use a both. But if you don't have Excel installed in your system, you have to only depend on the workbook activities because the Excel activities will not work. You do not have any MS Excel installed in your system. Understand? Sneha? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, I got it.
could you please ping me uh, ping the uh, link where you actually saved the exe file actually i could not find it which exe uh we for one of the home you know um, assignments uh, last week uh, we had to use an exe uh, like... uh, if you ask rohit uh, rohit will give the uh, the share location okay where you are giving okay. the recordings these things and all in the same same location uh, you can find the ua demo also okay okay thank you uh go to the uh, the examples so in the examples you uh, hold up okay. so rohit will help on that Sure. Thanks. Okay. okay. Any any more doubts? Others? So okay. So thank you. Uh, have a great day. So we'll see you tomorrow. The workbook uh, MS Word. How can we deal with the MS Word? Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a great day.